Hey everyone, it's Carrie from Carrie's Wreath Creations. I am here today with a petal folding video for you. Um, if you look at the background here, we're gonna be learning how to do this petal. Um, so I did not create this petal. This is actually the Rita petal, which is very well known, widely used um, in flower style wreaths. Uh, it's just a little bit of a different take on it um, as far as how you finish it. So I'll kind of stop a few times, show you how you actually make the Rita petal, which I do have a separate video just for that. Um, but I did not create the Rita petal and I also did not create this petal. This is just my explanation of how I personally do it. Um, so definitely not taking credit for creating anything here, but happy to show you how I do this and how I put this wreath together. Um, so if you take a look at the petal, it might be a little bit hard to see from the video, but basically it has kind of a, it's, it's, kind of, I mean, I've seen it called the claw petal because it kind of rem resembles a claw. Like this is one petal right here. Maybe it'd be easier for me to show you. Um, here's one that was made. It's a little bit, I don't really like the darker color on the video, but this is a navy blue um, one that I made here. So you can see it kind of like almost like opens up like a mouth about to eat something. <laughs> um, but it's the, cl it's, uh, the claw petal and um, let's talk about how to make it. So um, we are going to start with our 10 by 10 piece of poly burlap, okay? It is uh, curl side up, even though it's not very curly. I did flatten it quite a bit. Um, but we are going to um, start with it in a, a just a, you're a square in front of you. I do have my Unique in the Creek board ready for um, to put my completed petal in, and I do have affiliate links for all of these supplies and materials I'm using in the comments or in the description box. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to take this, and I do have clips handy. I'm going to use clips, okay? So I am going to take this, I'm going to turn it into a diamond shape, and I'm going to bring the top to meet, uh, the bottom up to meet the top. Now, I actually don't care about this lining up. What I want is these edges here to line up. So the clips are going to go here. I'm going to make sure that these are nice and lined up. Just, and just put a clip on them, okay? Just making sure that these corners are nice and lined up, okay? So that might mean that the top doesn't quite line up exactly, especially if I'm not a perfect 10 by 10, but pretty close, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is from the bottom, you're gonna scrunch up towards this tip here, okay? And this is your classic Rita petal. So you just kind of gather the material and just kind of grabbing the same amount every time. And then what I do is I sort of turn it like this. And now a classic Rita petal is you just bring these two sides up and pinch at the bottom. And this is your classic Rita petal, okay? We're not quite here yet, all right? Now, sometimes with a Rita petal, if you wanted to do it this, wanted to do this, um, what you could do uh, is cut, put a, um, you can sort of either clip or band or something this at the bottom here and cut these and cut it into two separate petals. And then you could have all of your petals if you wanted them all to face the same way. See, these are going in different directions. Um, right now they're facing different directions, but if you wanted them all to be uniform where it would look like more like this, you can cut this in half. That's an option. Um, okay, now what I'm gonna do is make it look like this. So it's very simple. All you do is, and you decide which way you wanna fold all of them. If you wanna do this over here or this one over this one, doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm still pinching it and I'm just gonna take this and bring this, instead of bringing them together, I'm going farther than that. I'm gonna take this and put it all the way over, okay? Just like that, a little awkward. Probably maybe take the clips off. Um, do that, okay? So again, all I did was, here's my Rita petal, and then I just kind of keep going, okay? Just like that, so I kind of pick this up and go over. Now, for your petal to look nice and uniform, all of them to look the same, you do wanna sort of make sure that these are lined up so one isn't higher than the other. Um, and if that were happening, you might want to readjust where you're pinching a little bit. This looks pretty good here, okay? And then you would put this right into the board. Before I do that, I'm going to point out one thing, and that is that this, as I, I actually did it diff differently on one wreath than the other. So on this one, here's my cut edge. It's on top here, 
on the one that I overlapped. The one in the background has the factory edge in the front. If you wanted this to be the other way around, you either would need to bring this one over this one, or you need it to you need to turn your um, mesh. We turned it to the right. You would need to turn it to the left. Um, so hope that's not too confusing, but it's up to you because regardless, you're going to have it's going to be a factory edge and a cut edge, or a factory edge and a cut edge. It, it, this one has is opposite. Again, you know I don't know that it matters too much. Maybe this one you'd want to be the factory edge because there is a little bit more of it showing since it's on the top. Um, but I already folded it like this, so this is the way it's going to be. And we're going to go right into the board. And there is my claw petal. Okay, hope this was helpful. Um, be sure to check out that description box for all of my social media links, as well as links to my Etsy shop and um, links to uh, my affiliate links for the boards and all the materials that I use, supplies, things like that. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch other wreath making videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye.